Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, my name is Savannah Liddell and in today's video we're going to be reviewing Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I'm going to give you guys my honest review. I'm going to demo everything for you guys and then at the end I'm going to give you my honest review on everything. Y'all, I'm so excited. So <laughs> I don't want to waste any time. I want to get straight into the video. But if you're new to my channel and you have not hit the subscribe button, what is you doing baby? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so that way you never miss another video from me. Let's get straight into it. Will one get a future shining like diamonds in a rocky world? Okay, so I've already prepped my face. I color corrected and did that off camera. So we can just stick straight to the point of the Fenty Beauty. I did buy the sponge. So it has like a flat side and then a flat side on the top really feels like a beauty blender to me. I already wet my sponge and I'm ready to apply the foundation. To show you guys like this is what it's looking like. It's very, very runny. So I have already played with this. Um, this is not my first time using this. I went to Sephora last night, but I ended up getting the wrong shade guys. So one thing with this foundation is it does oxidize. So when it dries, it's gonna dry a little bit darker than what it actually looks like when you, you know, first put it on. So I'm using this flat side. This is gonna get dirty so easily. But I'm using this flat side to blend it in all over my face. And I have a big face, so it's gonna take a while. <laughs> Another thing I noticed with this foundation is that it dries very fast. Since it dries so fast, I wanna work it in sections. So far, I like it. Now, I don't think that this is full coverage. I can still see some of my problem areas. I think that if you do two layers, you could build it up to full coverage for sure. Okay, so now that foundation is done, the next thing I usually do in my routine is to conceal. We're gonna conceal now, and this is in the shade Suede. I'm just gonna highlight and conceal the way that I always do. So let's see how this bad boy works. So I usually go under my eye. It's like in a circle. It's kind of hard to get up in this crevice area. Kind of having some difficulties. But we're gonna keep working at it. It's new, I'm not used to it. Huh, usually my... <laughs> Usually my triangle doesn't look this sloppy, but this is kind of hard to do. Hey, one thing I can say is it is going on really smooth. It feels really nice. I don't really like using this under my eye. It was just hard for me to get into, you know, where I needed to get to because of the shape of this. Uh, so I don't really know if I'm feeling this under my eyes. However, I am enjoying the product. It is going on really creamy. I'm just gonna continue to highlight. So I'm gonna just drag this down my nose like I always do. So that, that was pretty easy. And then I usually do my cupid's bow under my bottom lip to give like a little pout. And then I usually come under here like right under where I would contour and kind of drag it down a little bit more. So it does go on very smooth, I can say that. Okay, so I'm all highlighted where I highlight. So now I'm just gonna use the precision sponge and just blend everything out. I usually do my, I blend out my under eye concealer last. So we're gonna keep it the same way that I usually do. I'm just gonna use the booty of the beauty blender. Or, this is not a beauty blender, wait. I'm gonna use the booty of the precision Oh my gosh, I just feel like this is a beauty blender. I'm gonna use the booty of the precision sponge. Okay, so I just got done blending out the suede concealer with the precision sponge. I like how it came out. It just looks very natural. It looks like my skin, but a little bit better. Actually, a lot better. <laughs> now I'm going to use the matchstick and espresso to do a little bit of contouring right here and I'm not gonna bring it down too far Ooh. 
Yeah, I don't want to bring it down too, too far. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead, on the sides a little bit, under here. I'm trying to I'm trying to form a double chin here, so let's cut that off. <laughs> And I don't contour my nose. I just, I don't mess with my nose. Use this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just slide it, you know? Make, work it how I want it to work. But then also be like patting it in, but also kind of like try to blend it up. I have my face all contoured. Hopefully it doesn't look bad. I prime my eyelids. I put some uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance on because I'm actually about to go in with Trophy Wipe. So this is a highlighter. I'm gonna use it as eyeshadow today. You gotta be super careful with this and hopefully it doesn't fall under my eyes. I pray it doesn't. Oh Lord, that would be so just not good. I don't wanna like move it too much. That's why I'm patting it in because I don't wanna move it around and I don't want it to fall. I'm kind of getting messy with this. I have the trophy wipe on my eyes. I am loving it. So I went ahead and put on mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And now I am ready to use the Kilowatt, yes, the Kilowatt um, highlighter. And this is in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule, sorry. So I think I'm gonna use this one, which is Ginger Binge as like my blush because it doesn't have as much shimmer in it. A little bit, I'm not gonna go crazy because I don't know how it's gonna look. Okay, so let's try this out. Ooh. Just gonna dip my brush into this just a little bit and just go right above my contour. So let's see. So, I like, I like, it's nice, it's subtle. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. Nothing crazy though, it gives you a little wash of color. I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but then I think I'm gonna go in with the Moscow Mule as like the highlighter, you know what I'm saying? here <laughs> oh my gosh that's so pretty oh! ginger binge and Moscow mule is really it's gonna look gorgeous on brown skin this is a good one yes yes, yes Riri thank you thank you Rihanna thank you girl I want it to look natural. I'm gonna put Moscow Mule in my inner corner, just, just playing around. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna use this matchstick in the shade Cinnamon. And it came, it came in the trio, so it came with my um, concealer, my contour shade, and then this is the highlighter. So I'm actually gonna use this on the tip of my nose. So I'm actually just gonna put a little bit on my fingers and just whoo, do it there, right on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna dot this on my finger like this and then put it right, right under my brow bone. Also gonna put this on um, my Cupid's bow. So just a little bit like this. So last but not least, we're gonna do the lips and we're gonna use the gloss. It's a gloss balm and it's in the shade Fenty Glow. So this is the only lip product that she has right now. And guys, this stuff smells amazing. Like amazing, it smells so good. You know what? I've been trying to figure out what is the smell. It smells like some kind of candy and I wanna say it smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. 
Okay, let me put it on. So this is supposed to be like a universal lip gloss. So it will work on everybody. It will look good on everyone. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of the cinnamon, cinnamon over this a little bit. Let's see, how about that? How about that? Hmm? Yeah, now that we've done the face with Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, let's get into the review. I'm gonna tell you what the must-haves are in this line. Okay, so now that you guys have seen the demo of me using some of the products, let's let's do a little honest review. Okay, so starting off with the foundation, um, this is called the Pro Filter. It's a soft matte longwear foundation. I like the packaging. I think it's very simple. There's white cap and it gets dirty. I don't know if you guys can really see, but my foundation fingerprints are all over this. I like that it comes with a pump. Overall, I think the foundation is a must have. I saw that I went in with two layers. Normally when I go in with two layers with any other foundation, I can feel it on me, you know? But this one, I literally didn't feel it on me. I still can't, I don't feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. And that is really nice, especially in Texas heat. I definitely think this is something that you guys should all try out. There are 40 shades. So you should be able to find your color, which is beautiful in itself. Like, I think Rihanna and her, and her team did a great job with that. I mean, I, I really have no words. Awesome. It oxidizes, so you really have to be careful, especially if you're gonna purchase this online. The Precision Makeup Sponge, it's actually really, really nice. I loved it. Um, I did compare it to my Beauty Blender and actually have a Beauty Blender here. I said it was pretty much the same thing except it's like cut at an angle. But in filling this and filling the Beauty Blender, I would say that the Beauty Blender feels a little bit more firm. It's a little bit more firm and then this one is a little bit more squishy. It's just like more, a little bit more bouncy. Um, I think they both work well. I did enjoy the flat side, I felt like I got my foundation blended in quicker because you had a you know a bigger surface i enjoyed using this i mean i don't have anything bad to say about it at all if you uh, enjoy the beauty blender then i think that you should give this one a try the con about it i would say is that it's white and that it obviously gets very dirty so hopefully when she expands on the line maybe she'll come up with uh different colors hopefully black because this looks this is so bad <laughs> Now let's talk about these magnetic guys. These are called Match Sticks Trio. So this was a trio of a concealer, a contour shade, and a highlight shade. It's a good deal because you get three products in one. And I love that they're magnetic. Let's talk about the packaging. I think the packaging, again, is just very sleek, kind of like sophisticated and simple. I really, really like just the simplicity of this. You sell these individually, you don't have to buy them as a trio. I need to try out a lot of the products from Fenty Beauty. I think this is a good way of doing that and it'll save you some money because I think individually, I wanna say these are like 20 something and this for all three was 54. This was the highlighting shade and you do get quite a bit of product um, and it felt very solid. This went on really smooth. Um, I actually enjoyed it better than what I thought I was going to. Now, if you're looking for a full coverage concealer, I don't think, think that this is going to give you full coverage. However, it does brighten your skin. It does, it gave like a natural glow. Like, I don't think you guys can see it on camera, but in person, like, I saw a natural glow. It's kind of like a glow from within type of thing. If you're looking for an easy, lightweight concealer, then this would be a good one. The only thing I can say I didn't like was when I was trying to get under my eyes with this. Um, it was a little difficult. It was a little awkward just because of the shape of this. But everywhere else where I highlighted, it was it was a breeze. The name of the concealer is Suede. I forgot to say that, I'm sorry. Let's talk about the contour shade in Espresso. And I did get the Dark Kit. I forgot to also mention that, guys. I got the, no, Deep. 
deep number 400. I don't have any really complaints about this. I think it did its job. The highlight shade that comes in the trio. So this is called Cinnamon and it looks the same way. This is actually very pretty and I really like it because you can use it in so many different ways. Uh, I just used it to highlight a little bit in some places. You can use it as a cheek highlight. You can use it on your lips. I mean, you can use it as an eyeshadow. This really has multiple uses, which is really nice. This one, let's talk about the Kilowatt Highlighter and Trophy Wife. This one, this is just so beautiful and so unique. Whoops, I'm probably blinding you guys with the mirror, but yeah. This is so pretty. I've never seen a highlight shade like this. I've, it's very shimmery. It will kind of fall out. You'll have glitter. It's not like chunky glitter, like Rihanna said, if you watched any of her promo videos. It's more of like a shimmer, but it shimmers. Like, you, it, I don't even think the camera is picking it up, but like if you go back and forth, you can see just like little crystals of shimmer. It's so beautiful. Um, now, if you really like a pop in highlight, then I think this would be beautiful and it would be right for you on your cheeks. Um, I personally just don't like that much of a blinding highlight on my cheeks, that's just how I am. So that's why I used it on my eyes. Um, I mean, it didn't come out perfect, but I actually kind of like the shade. I've never worn an eyeshadow this kind of shade, so I'm gonna continue using this on my eyes. I think it's pretty cool and it's unique and it's really pretty and I'm glad that I got it. Let's talk about another kilowatt highlighter. This is kind of like a duo, not kind of, it is a duo highlighter. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but this I got in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. So one is more of like, I feel like an all over blush. I mean, it's also a highlight. So it was, it was really pretty because it was like, a blush because it gave me a little bit of color but then it also kind of gave a nice little hint of glow like nothing crazy but then if you really want you know that glow look you can use this on top of it so that's what I did I used kind of this as like my blush and then I went over top of it with the Moscow Mule so I really think this would be a really good shade on darker skin um, they have some other uh, shades but I thought this one would complement complement my skin the best okay i think that's it the last thing is the fenty gloss it's a what is it called it's a gloss balm and it's in fenty glow now this is the only lip product that she has right now it's supposed to be a um, universal color that looks good on everybody which i think it will and it's not sticky like i said earlier it's not sticky it feels kind of thick but very comfortable and nice on the lips and it smells y'all it smells so good i think it smells like a jolly rancher but tell me guys tell me what you guys think it smells like if you get it well breaking everything down out of all the products that i use today i'm gonna i'm gonna give you guys my top three that i think you guys need to try out and i think you won't regret it proud the pro filter foundation uh, i would suggest if you have a sephora in your area to just go in store and get matched and spend some time and make sure that it is your right shade because I made the mistake and I got a shade that was dark, too dark for me because it oxidizes. So I would definitely just say if you can go in person, but just be careful about that. Otherwise, I think you will enjoy the foundation. I think that the Trophy Wife highlighter, if you wanna try one of the highlights, I think that should be one of the first ones that you try out just because it's so unique. The Kilowatt trophy wife highlighter i would say that's a must have and the last thing i think that you guys should get is one of the stick highlighters what are they called one of the match stick highlighters now since i got the trio i automatically got this one in cinnamon um but they have i mean she rihanna has a bunch in her collection from like shades like these to i saw like some purples i mean there's some really cool stuff i wish i could have got them all but again I got all that money. I think that you guys should try out one of the matchsticks. Uh, find a shade that you like because again, I think these have multiple uses. All right guys, so that was my review on the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Hopefully it gave you guys some insight on what you should pick out. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've tried anything and what's your favorite product so far. Um, I just overall think that this is gonna be uh, 
a really great brand uh, it already is and I can't wait to see what she adds to her collection um, I was actually really really surprised at how good everything is it's just like in the price point it's on point so Rihanna and her team they did an amazing job and what I love the most is that they showcase every type of woman I mean as far as you know skin tone goes they showed all kinds of women and I love seeing that because our world is diverse. It's not, everyone doesn't look one way. And I also love that they included 40 shades of foundation. So everybody should be able to find their shade. It's just, it to me tells me that we're growing in some way. I mean, we, we still got a long ways to go, but the beauty industry is becoming a lot more diverse and I think it's a beautiful thing. So. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if it helped you out, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to also hit the bell so that way you never miss another video from me. I don't think I have anything else to say, but uh, peace.